In the previous video, we were discussing about arithmetic progression. I had given you a, a the <coughs> introduction to it, and we had done a couple of problems. I think from the question papers, previous question papers of SSLC. Now today we will take up some more problems on this. I will take up a few uh, problems from the textbook, from your textbook, prescribed textbook. Now. Uh, which of the term of the AP 3, 8, 13, 18? 3, 8, 13, 18, etc., etc., uh, will be or is 78? Is 78? This is the question. Which of the arithmetic progression AP 3, 8, 13, 18, etc.? is 78. Now, here A is 3, right? The first term is 3 and the common difference D is 8 minus 3 or that is 5. 8 minus 3 or 13 minus 8, that is 5. Now, uh, the nth term given is AN is 78 and we are asked to find out the number of this term. What is n? How many? Uh, which term is the seven? Is seventy-eight? That's what he is asking. Now to find out this, what I do is I write the formula of a n. A n is a plus n minus one times d. This is the formula. This is our formula. Now here I know a n. That is the nth term. I know it is seventy-eight. I know a. I know d. So there is only one unknown quantity in this relationship and that is n. So if in any mathematical equation there is one unknown quantity that can always be found out. We can always solve the equation. So I will make the substitution. This is 78 is equal to 3 plus n I will keep as it is n minus 1 into d is 5. Right? I have made the substitution now. Now, therefore, n minus 1 into 5 will be equal to 78 minus 3. I have transported this 3 to the other side. So it will be 3. So n minus 1 is equal to 78 minus 3 is 75 divided by this 5. If I transport here, it will come here. So n minus 1 is equal to 15. Therefore, n will be equal to 15 plus 1, that is 16. So, the 16th term, 16th term of the given AP, the given AP will be 78. This is the answer. This is how you have to write the answer. 16th term of the given AP will be 78. I hope you have understood how to do it. In the, uh, we have done one problem. I hope you have understood that. Now I am taking one more problem. The problem is like this. Find the 31st term of an AP. Find the 31st term. 31st term of an AP. of an AP whose whose 11th term 11th term is 38 and 16th term 16th term is 73 now, this problem is slightly different from the previous problem. In the previous problem, A was given, D was given, A N was given and we were asked to find out N. Here, we are not given that. What we have to find out is A31. This is what is to be found out. A31 is to be found out. What they have given is A11 is, A11 is, 
38 and a 16 is given as 73 find a 31 he says now from these two from these two this information that is a 11 is 38 and a 16 is 73 what i have to do is i have to find out a and d i have to get a and d we know a 11 is a plus 10d right a plus 10d we know that a 16 is equal to a plus 15d so we are having two equations and this is given as this is given as 38 and this is given as 73 now there are two equations here these are two equations which have two unknown quantities that is a pair of linear equations a pair of linear equations are there from these two equations i can get the value of a and d how we have already seen earlier we have done the pair of linear equations here the unknown quantities or the variables are a and d both in both of them now what i do is the coefficient of a in both of them is 1 so i need not have to multiply these two equations but both are positive so to cancel them what i have to do is i have to subtract one equation from the other now for subtracting 1 by 1 minus 2 what i get is this is this becomes minus this also becomes minus this also becomes minus they are all plus here they will become minus now this plus a minus a gets cancelled and 10d minus 15d will give me minus 5d minus 5d and 38 plus minus 73 will give me 13 minus 8 is 5 6 minus 3 is 3 so Minus five d is equal to minus thirty five. Therefore, d will be equal to minus thirty five upon minus five. That will be five seven zero thirty five. So seven minus of minus it becomes plus. So it will be d will be seven. Now next, what I have to do is I have to get a. I have to get the first term of the ap. now to get that what i have to do is take one of the equations any one either the first one or the second one so i am taking the first one a plus 10d is 38 this is given in the problem so in this equation i will make a substitution for d i will make a substitution for d so a plus 10d 10 into 7 the value of d is 7 So 10 into 7 is equal to 38. Then what happens? A plus 70 is equal to 38. Hence, A will be equal to 38 minus 70. That will be minus 32. Minus 32. So now I got both A and D. A I have got as Minus thirty-two. That is the first term of the AP, and the common difference D is seven. So the AP will be like this. The AP will be the AP will be minus thirty-two, minus twenty-five, minus eighteen, etc., etc., etc. This will be the AP. Now what he wants us to find out is. he wants us to find out the value of a31 that is the 31st what will be the 31st term of the ap so a31 will be equal to a plus n minus 1d that is 30d 30d so make a substitution in this a is minus 32 plus 30 into d is 7 so that will give me minus 32 Plus two ten, so the answer will be the thirty first term will be two ten minus thirty two, that will be ten minus two is eight, ten uh, minus three is seven, one.
178 will be the 31st term. That is the answer. The answer is 178. I hope you have understood this problem. You have understood this, what, I, what we have done. You have understood that. Now we will take up, I will take up one more problem in the same thing, finding in uh, nth term, finding nth term or the, using the formula a n, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d and finding the required quantities. <coughs> one more problem, the 17th term of an AP the 17th term of an AP, 17th term of an AP, of an AP, exceeds the 10th term, exceeds the 10th term, the 10th term by, by 7, 7. Find find the common difference find the common difference common difference this is another problem from the book from the textbook your prescribed textbook i have taken now this is the problem what he has given is a17 minus a10 the difference between the 17th term and 10th term is 7. This is the meaning of telling that the 17th term of an AP exceeds the 10th term by 7. Now, from this information, he wants us to find out the value of D, the common difference he wants us to find out. Now, what I do is, A17 will be A plus 16D minus a10 is a plus 90 this is equal to 7 so if i open this a plus 16d minus a minus of minus minus of plus again minus 90 is equal to 7 now this plus a minus a gets cancelled now 16d minus 90 that is 7D is equal to 7. Therefore, D is equal to 7 by 7. That is, D is equal to 1. This is the common difference of the uh, AP, given AP. If you want to write the AP, if they say find the AP, write the AP, then you have to also find out what is A, the first term. To get the first term, you will have to substitute in this uh, the value of D and get the value of uh, A and write the AP. Anyway, he has not asked that. He has only asked us to find out the value of D. Now, such a problem can be given for a two marks question, as a two mark question can be given. Next, next, I'll take one more question. How many multiples of 4? How many multiples of 4? How many multiples multiples of 4? Like like between like between between uh, 10 and 250 10 and 250 now in this see the numbers are what are the numbers they are above 10 but below 250 they are they are above 10 less than 250 and they are multiples of 4 Multiples of 4 means, you know, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, etc. Any number which is fully divisible by 4 will be a multiple of 4. That is the meaning. Now, after 10, the first number that is 
divisible completely by 4 is 12. This is the first number. After 10, which is completely divisible by 10, by 4. Next number will be 16. The next number will be 20. The next will be 24, etc, etc, etc. Now what will be the last number? What will be the last term? The last term will be less than 250 and it is divisible by 4. That is the last number will be 248, 248. Because after that the other next number is 249, the next number is 250, 251, 252. 252 will be divisible by 4 but that is above 250. Now below 250 the the last number which is divisible below 250 is 248. 4 6 are 24, 4 2 are 8. Right, that is the divisible. Now this is the nth term, let us say. So we know A is 12, we know D is 4, and we know An is 248. 248. What we want to know is what is n. That is how many terms are there in this progression from this to this. That is what we have, we have to know. It is like something like the first problem which we did in the video. So you have to use the formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the formula. Now we know an, we know a, we know d. What we have to get is n minus uh, this n. Now, a n minus a, if you transfer this this side, will be equal to n plus uh, n minus 1 into d. So, a n is 248 minus a is 12 is equal to n minus 1 into d is 4. Right? So, 248 minus 12. 4 into n minus 1, I will take this this side, is equal to 248 minus 12, this I will write that side, 8 minus 2 is 6, 4 minus 1 is 3, 236, right, so n minus 1 will be equal to 236 divided by 4, that is 4, 5 is 20, for 5 is 20, 3 is there, 3 will not go by 4, so 0, it becomes 36, so 509. Now n will be 509 plus 1, that is 510. So there are 510 terms in this. No, I think this is, I have made a mistake here. This is not 509. This is this is 59, this is 59, so it will be 59 plus 1, that is 60 times. So this progression, this AP, or there are 60 numbers which are multiples of uh, 4 between the numbers 10 and 250. There are 60 numbers uh, which are multiples of for lying between 10 and 250. That is the answer. That is how the answer is to be given. Right. We will take up one more problem. Uh, the problem is, again from the textbook, how many three digit numbers? How many three digit numbers? Three digit numbers. Three digit numbers or or 
divisible by 7. This is exactly the same question which was which we did same type of problem which we did pre, uh, previously the earlier problem just before this what what we did that problem is also this problem is also similar to it now what he says is now three digit numbers means numbers which lie between 100 to 1000 not less than 100 not greater than 1000 they are three digit numbers like 101 102 103 104 105 106 etc etc up to the last number three digit number is 999 that is just below this 1000 mark now how many of in in between these two numbers there are how many numbers which are completely divisible by 7 or in other words they are multiples of 7 multiples of 7 now let us see which is the first number which is divisible by 7 you know 7 15s are, I think 7 15s are 15 7 are, I think is 105 15 6 no. 7 I think 105 is the first number after 100 after crossing 100 the first number is 105 then the second number is 112 the third number is 119 etc 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 so here a will be 105 a is in this problem a is 105 and b is 7 that is 112 minus 105 or 119 minus 112 like that they, they are divisible by 7 so the difference between them will be 7 each number with the preceding number if you subtract you will get 7 that is the common difference and what is the last number that is the nth number nth term nth term will be uh, if you go on doing it 1000 if I divide if you divide 1000 by 7 1000 if it is divided by 7 uh, <coughs> 7 ones are 7 3 30 <coughs> 30 so 7 fours are 28 2 you can take 2 7 twos are 40 <coughs> so the last number is 6 divisible by 7 before 1000 is 6 less than 1000 6 less than 1000 means it is 9 94 994 you see is divisible by 7 7 1s are 7 2 29 7 2s are uh, 7 4s are 28 7 4s are 28 1 you take down 4 so 7 2s are 40 so this is the last number 994 is the last number how i got it you divide 1000 by 7 what the uh, remainder comes here right subtract that remainder from 1000 you will get the last number which is a three digit number which is divisible by 7 or which is a multiple of 7 so an is how much 994 this is an now what we got to find out is what is n this is to be found out so it is easy so the same formula an is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so an is 994 is equal to a is 105 plus n minus 1 into 7 so 7 into n minus 1 will be 994 minus 105 so n minus 1 will be equal to the difference is 14 minus 5 is 9, 8, 9 minus 1 is 8, 889 divided by 7. Now this will give me n minus 1 is equal to 
seven ones are seven, seven twos are fourteen, seven sevens are forty-nine. Eight eighty-nine divided by seven is one twenty-seven. So n will be equal to one twenty-seven plus one. That is one twenty-eight. So there are one twenty-eight numbers which are completely divisible by seven. Three digit numbers. There are. 128 three digit numbers this is the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one so like that if you go up to 994 you will find there are 128 numbers which are completely divisible by 7 or which are the multiples of 7 so this is how the problem is to be done this is one problem next i will take up one more problem and i think You you have understood these problems. I am sure you have understood them. If you have understood, you tell your friends. We inform them. They also can watch and take benefit out of it, and they can subscribe. There is no charge for subscribing. It is free of charge. You can subscribe it and take advantage of these videos. Now I will take up one more. Two APs have the same common difference. Two APs, two arithmetic progressions, APs have same common difference. C D. The difference between their hundredth terms. The difference between. Difference between their. Hundred terms, terms is one hundred. What is the difference between their thousand terms? What is the difference between? What is the difference between? Difference between their thousand. Terms. This is the problem. Now here, let us say the first first one is a a plus d a plus two d etc. The second one is a one comma a one plus d a two uh, a one plus two d. A one plus three D, etc., etc. D is common for both. Now, what he says is the hundredth term of this and the hundredth term of this. If you subtract, if you subtract, a hundred of first one minus a hundred of the second AP, the difference is hundred. The difference between them is hundred. Now, what he wants us to find out is what is a thousand of first AP minus a thousand of the second one. He wants us to find out. Now, what I do here is a hundred means a plus ninety nine d ninety nine d minus a hundred of second one is a one plus Ninety nine d. This is equal to hundred. So if I open these brackets, a plus ninety nine d minus a one minus ninety nine d is equal to hundred. So this plus ninety nine d minus ninety nine d will get cancelled. So a minus a one. Is hundred. That is the difference between first term of the first AP and the first term of the second AP is equal to hundred. Or this is hundred times, and this is hundred hundred more than a one. Or it can be written as a is equal to hundred plus a one, or a one plus hundred. Like that also you can write. Now what he is asking is, what is the difference between a thousand term of the first AP 
minus a thousand of the second AP. This is how much. Now this will be in the same way. It will be a plus a plus nine ninety nine d n minus one d a plus n minus one d minus this will be a one plus nine nine nine. This is how much he wants us to find out. Now this is a plus nine ninety nine d minus a one plus nine 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 d. Again, this sorry, this is not plus. Minus of plus will be minus. This cancels, so it is same as a minus a one. That is same as hundred. So the difference between the thousand terms will also be equal to. Hundred. If the hundred term is difference between hundred terms is hundred, then the difference between thousand terms of the two is also equal to hundred. So this is another problem which we which we have done, and this type of problems can be asked for two or three marks. This can be asked for two marks or three marks. It can be asked. We have done some problems from the. Question paper also I have done I think a couple of problems from that. I have done some more problems here. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can call me and ask, or you can send it to me. The pro if you have any problem, you can send it to me. I will solve and tell. Uh, I hope you will you are get, you will be getting benefited by this.